Welcome back to 97.7 FM KC Radio for an hour of power and leadership with me, Ryan Gomez. It's an absolute privilege and a plump pleasing pleasure to be here speaking to you on 97.7 FM KC Radio. If you're, we are streaming live on the web, that is all the w's.kcradio.com.au. And locally, we are on the dial, that is 97.7 FM KC Radio. So it's great to have your company, and it's an, like I said, it's an absolute privilege and a pleasure of speaking to you on Saturday mornings. And I know I'll Quite a lot of um, individuals have down, uh, download my podcast every week and keep it going, keep the feedback coming in, and that is the absolute key. Thank you very much for that. And like I said, if you find a nugget or two from our guests and what they say, take it, to use it in your business, in your life, and uh, in whatever endeavor you want to. So there you have it. Um, I have a special guest again, like every Saturday I do on the program. We've got Rita Hartney, who's an internationally renowned motivational speaker, uh, author, coach and she's spoken on the platforms of the world and uh, look she's she's had some great phenomenal success in what she has done and helping individuals uh, be their best and what Rita is going to be doing is giving out a couple of um, couple of books on on the program so there is um, so you got to be stay tuned to to you know to grab a copy of uh, a book or two from from Rita so that I According to what uh, uh, Rita has told me, she can she's she can give away three books. So you've got to stay listening in and and how to win those three books or how to get those three books uh, from Rita Hartney, uh, one of her best-selling books that is. So that will be after a little after about eight thirty this morning. So we're going to be speaking to Rita Hartney, uh, talking about empowering uh, women and why uh, you know uh, from from her perspective in the last thirty years of uh, thirty forty years in in what she's done in speaking to the platforms of the world in. She's she's empowered women to be their best and the best. So we'll speak to Rita after about 8.30 this morning. Uh, I want to also quickly just want to say is if you want to jump on my Facebook page, which is www.facebook.com slash Ryan Gomez Coaching and, uh, you know, give us a like, leave us some feedback. That'll be fantastic. <laughs> it's a it's a. It's great to have your company, and I hope you've been tuning in uh, this morning from 6 o'clock where we had uh, Cindy and Daz for Saturday morning breakfast with some great tracks and some great interviews on, on the program. Well, you have it. Um, I, I just want to kick off. I kick off the program by I want to tell a story, and, and I love telling stories. Uh, and it, it's it's important that you just not take the story, but take and use it. Uh, you know, there's always a message at the end of the story. And the story I want to talk about today is... Um, you know, there was um, there was a, a a businessman. He had uh, you know he had he had phenomenal wealth. He had absolutely phenomenal wealth, and uh, he this he he bought a he bought he brought one of the top range Ferraris, Ferrari cars, right cars. So he bought one of the top range Ferraris, and he was proud of it. And he was uh, he he wanted to show it off. So he said, "Look, I'm going to you know take this and I'm going to drive the." to the max speed, I don't know, whatever max speed Ferraris go at. And so he said, the only way I can do that is to go into the country, around the countryside, and drive it to the max. You know, just open it out to the max. So he's he's taken it down to the countryside, really proud of this beauty he had, he had bought, you know, this Ferrari. And uh, as he was driving uh, at 245 Ks, 300 Ks, Whatever Ferrari does, you know, whatever speed Ferrari does. So he's driving along, and um, as he's driving along, really, really having an absolute blast, he all of a sudden, you know, he sees this, uh, this, this rock hit his windscreen and crack his windscreen. Now, in that mad rush, he managed to somehow come to a grinding halt, you know, almost hitting a tree. And he stopped. He managed to stop with the dust and the smoke settled down. He was really furious. He was absolutely furious. He got out of his uh, Ferrari and he slammed the door and he looked at his windscreen. It had a crack on it. And he was, you know, I mean, come on. He was, uh, he was absolutely fuming. And he says, who does dare do this to me? I am a wealthy businessman and, and you know, this is my one of my possessions and, and uh, you know, and he was looking around to see who had thrown the stone or this rock at, at, at the windscreen. He looked around, he looked to his left, he looked to his right, he, he couldn't find anyone. And uh, all of a sudden, as he's, he's, uh, he's, his eyes caught a glimpse of this, um, this little boy on the side of the road. And this boy was 12 years old. 
and he was standing on the side of the road and he saw this boy he started walking up to this boy and really furious and he said hey you did you throw that rock that stone at my car and uh, and uh, the boy said yes as a matter of fact yes sir, i did throw that uh, rock and before the boy could say anything else he had grabbed the boy by the collar and lifted it up and he goes do you know that you know i am a wealthy businessman and um, i can i will not only take you to court i'll take your family to court i'll take your next generation to court and i will make sure they pay every cent back it'll take you if it's going to take you years and years to pay it back i'll make sure you pay it back don't you know what you have just done and you know he was really furious and fuming so the boy you know he said sir sir please put me down and um, so he put the boy down and as he put the boy down he says sir i know your frustration i know your frustration please please let help me help me ex uh, let me explain this and he said you know i you know i'm standing here at the side of the road for the last half an hour to 45 minutes so please and uh, you know I was trying to get the attention of all the cars that were going past and no cars were stopping because on the side is my you can see my brother he's a younger brother who's eight years old uh, he's disabled and he cannot walk and he had fallen off his wheelchair and I don't have the strength sir, to pick him up and and put him on into the wheelchair so much so I was trying to get the attention of the cars that were going past and I was none of the cars were stopping to help me put my brother back in the wheelchair and I'm sorry sir it had to be your car the only way I could gain some attention and to get some help was to throw a throw a stone and uh, and thank you sir for stopping it is really good of you to stop please help me put my lift my brother and put him back in his wheelchair you know and uh, the 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 businessman looked at this boy and he was really fuming at the start and he looked at this boy and then he looked at that and he looked at the other boy which is eight years old who's disabled had fallen off is crying down on the on the floor he quickly you know ran to the boy the little boy uh, lifted up the eight-year-old boy and put him in the wheelchair and uh, he walked up to the to the older boy and the older boy started to thank him and he said son where do you live he says, well, I just live 10 minutes around the corner, so I'm going to wheel him. He says, no, let me do that. And he wheeled uh, the, the boy, the disabled boy, to, uh, to, the, to the place, to, to his house. And this little hut they were living in on the side of the road, you know, barely anything that they had. Mom and dad had come out and hugged the little boy and thanked, thanked the gentleman for doing that. And, you know, it was, it was and his, his, his heart had shattered at that time thinking my gosh and he's, he's walk as he's walking along down to his Ferrari where he had this cracked screen and he looked at this his cracked windscreen you know the windscreen would have had a crack but you know what he had a crack in his in his heart his heart had melted it, it softened because you know he started to then realize it is not the material things that th that matters the most what matters the most is is what you know your your is is what uh, the important things what are the important things the material things will come and go but what are the important things he had left out he had lost out on the important things in life he started to reflect back on his life and he says and he realized the important things he had lost out uh, as opposed to chasing after possession chasing after making that's uh, creating that success uh, monetary uh, results and and having everything he wanted in life but he had missed out on on the the greatest gifts in life the greatest gifts being his kids seeing his kids growing up you know being with his with his with his wife and and spending that quality time with his wife with his kids he had missed out on that and he started to realize the real possessions in life is his family his friends his kids his faith you know he had scarred he had a he had a big scar he had a scar on his heart and and he really started to reflect on that see the question i ask you today is you know what are the most important things in your life today you know what is do you have to wait for that stone to come and and uh, hit and and uh, remind you and hit you and remind you that hey you know what you've got to stop and reflect on the most important things in life the most important things in life why do you have to wait for a stone to stop uh, to to hit you to stop and reflect on the most important things in life
you know, we're moving at a, such a phenomenal pace these days, isn't it? People are chasing after success and people are chasing after uh, rewards. People are chasing after themselves. We, we live in a selfish world these days where people start to reflect on just themselves, just themselves. You know, where are we in life today is, I say, the three, the three things, though, the, the people say the three um three F's of success, I like to call it, the three F's of success. People say, if I have my, um, my fans, if I have my fame, therefore I should have my fortune. You know, what a wrong, what a wrong way of looking at, uh, at success, really. I mean, you know, the three F's of success, the three F's of success, I call it, is, is, your, is your faith, is your family, and your friends. When you have these three, what else? What else? What else do you need in life? So what is the most important things you're losing out in life today? That you're moving at such a fast pace that you don't stop to think and stop to reflect on the most important things in life today. You know, urgent things, we do the urgent things constantly. Every day we do the urgent things. From the time we wake up to the time we go to bed. The urgent things in life, we're constantly doing the urgent things in life. You know, we are, get to work, we drop our kids in school, we get to, uh, we, by the time we come back, you know, we have our meal, get to bed. Again, the same in, day, in, day, in, day, in, out, day in, day out, the same things we're doing. And I have no challenge with that. We've got to keep doing the urgent things in life, but we need to stop, stop and reflect on the important things as well in life. While we chase after success, while we chase after what, we, what is it that we want in life, we also need to spend time with our family, with our friends, because that is the absolute key. That is the absolute key. And that is what really, really fulfills a person. I hope this is making sense here on, on 97.7 FM KC Radio and an hour of power and leadership. You know, uh, it, we are streaming live on the web. That is all the W's dot. That's www.kcradio.com.au. And we are locally on the dial, which is 97.7 FM KC Radio. Let's uh, let's go to a short break and we'll be right back after this. You tune into 97.7 FM KC Radio for an hour of power and leadership. <laughs> 